When did you start feeling comfortable on camera? Did it come right away? You know, it did not come right away. It took, <laughs> it took years. You know, just like in running track. It was like every track meet, I mean literally every race, I would be shaking in my track shoes. You know, and it wasn't until I was out there running that I actually relaxed a little bit. But so it took years for me to to just have the confidence of knowing, okay, yeah, I mean, and I'm, I still get a little nervous if the truth is told. <laughs> I still get a little nervous. When you first went on, did people, anyone give you tips or say you should do this or you shouldn't do this? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. And, and they were the most helpful tips. I mean, because I knew that I didn't know anything, you know. So everything that everybody told me, I was so grateful for their critiques and, um, and positive encouragements, but also, you know, things that I could improve on. And, um, you know, so I always welcome those. What were some of the ones that you were given that you still adhere to to this day? Hmm. Well, I think one of the main ones was to always smile you know, uh, appropriately so, you know, I mean, because you can't smile out there when there's a tornado, you know, but to not have an angry face, but to have more of a solemn face. And then when you can smile, smiling is always the best thing. How much of your personality do you think comes through on camera? I, um, I'm constantly working on that. I'm constantly working on that um, because I, I try to be the same person off camera as I am on camera, you know, but many people say, oh, you're more animated off camera and, you know, you're, you're, you're more natural off camera and, you, you know, and sometimes you say things on camera that you don't necessarily say, you know, off camera. So I'm constantly trying to just be natural and be myself on camera, but I realize that that it's national TV, you know, and sometimes I can't say things that I would normally say to my girlfriend, you know, but but in a way I kind of feel that, you know, maybe that may be okay <laughs> to do that. So that's what I'm constantly working on. Do you bring up things in your personal life? Mm, not really, not that often. As a matter of fact, that was one of the main um, key things that a person told me as well, is to, in the beginning, is to always bring it back to the weather. You know, and that has helped on some level because that has given me the, the um, confidence to know that I won't ever be thrown off guard if I could always bring it back to the weather. I don't care what a person throws at me. You know, if I bring it back to the weather, I'll never be just totally off guard or I'll never really say something that I regret. I've said, because it is live TV. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Have you ever done that? Or? Um, well, I've misspoken a couple of times in terms of grammar or not, you know, really articulating crispy, crisply enough, you know. But um, in terms of saying something that I wish I hadn't have said, per se, not really. I mean, there have been a couple of times that um, I've said something that has been um, misinterpreted, but um, it wasn't because I said something that I wish I hadn't have said. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind of a difference. Um, and so when it was brought to my attention, you know, by a viewer or whatever that would write me and say, well, you said this and I took offense to that, you know, then I'm always, you know, you know, very concerned about, you know, expressing to them, well, this is how I meant it, and I will refrain from saying it, saying that again, because that's not what I meant. But now that I am aware that this is how some people are taking what I've said, then I will refrain from doing that, and I, and I welcome that. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to say something that offends anyone. 